Hello everyone, my name is Boy Titan, and today I have a very important question to ask all of you. Do you want to learn how to make stocks in a school browser block game? Well then, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you all the tips and tricks I used to get to my present inventory and how you, yes, you, can do the same. In case you're wondering whether or not I'm an amateur, don't worry, because I totally am. I've been taught by some of the greatest traders in the Kronka community, including the master amateur traders, Cash Camps, and Schwitzy B, just miss them. I think that's how you pronounce it. Still waiting on that raid, Cassie, by the way. Just hang out. Now, I've had my fair share of Kenny scam. I was scammed 300k KR when I spun my Moon Thunder and traded it. Same for Scout's Honor that I had. Since then, I've been grinding trading harder than a farmer turns butter. To put that into perspective how much I've traded, I went from getting a lucky spin of Neo Spider with about 35,000 KR to Vantam, to Vanta Black, Moon Feather, and an intervention VI in a little over three months. That totals more than 800,000 KR, by the way. I guess you could say I splattered all of those traders. <laughs> Got him. But anyway, enough about me. Here's a few tips that you can use to help make stocks. Number one, don't trust anyone. The, very, the reason I say this is because most of the conquer trading community consists of 13 to 15 year olds. Two, Burger King for it. No, I'm kidding. Number two, never go up estimated value. That's pretty self explanatory. Number three, know the market. This is probably one of the most important things you can learn and saves you a lot of time in those lanes of fast trades. Knowing the average sale on the trading price of the item you're trading is a very important um, skill to have. Knowing the demand, relative value, and relative and rarity of an item is all basically knowing the market. So point, and then here's just an extra point. Demand is the general desire for the item. Value is trading in market value. And rarity is how rare the item is. Generally, the rarer an item, the higher the value and greater demand, but this isn't always the case. Example, Terrified Face. There's only about 100 of them in the game, and most people want 100,000 KR for them, but there's just no demand for it. No one wants it, and it's a legendary face, so. Number four, know the difference between market and trading value. Market value is how much it goes for on the market, and it's usually less than the trading price, since pure, aka crunkies, are worth 1.2 times in the trading arena due to fees and profit. Trading value is how much it goes for on a trade. Two different things that can either help you to build your trading empire or destroy it. Number five, upgrades people. Upgrades. Trading generally falls into two categories, upgrading or downgrading. Sometimes there's a third category with equal trading, like a low tier contract or not a low tier contract, like, or a red all-stars for blue all-stars. It's pretty equal trading. Most of the time, though, you're either changing relics into, into a Contra, something like that, which is known as upgrading, or changing a Contra into good relics, downgrading. Now, generally in downgrading, the trader who desires the item should overpay slightly, unless they're Contra on upgrade, then it doesn't really matter. And if you don't repay, great, but always be looking to upgrade your items. Number six, find a community that isn't complete ass. This means finding traders who are actually decent people and know who aren't going to try to scam you, though it's always good to check. Num Lucky number seven, the final and possibly most important piece of advice is bribery. Whether it's being nice, sending chill pics, or sending them hentai memes on Discord, bribery is the way to go. You're making a lot of stonks, trust me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> stonks. <laughs> anyway, on a real note, before I wrap up the video, some tips on the list, honorable mentions I guess, are one, don't spend KR unless for content or you're feeling lucky. Being smart in trading, which generally means patience, not a better one. Know the keys and telltale signs of a desperate trader and use it to your advantage, which means not blowing up the private person's DMs. It doesn't really help. Also, don't beg for items, because <laughs> the master stonkers didn't get to where they are by begging, and usually will just shut them down towards trading towards trading with you. And finally, me poking fun at the, right, at the self-righteous trading community. Never, ever, ever use the word scam. Because that's too strong of a word for 13 year olds. Instead, use words like stonks, making profit, or my personal favorite, favorite that I came up with, using the other person's, pl using the other player's ignorance of the market to your advantage, which leads back to don't trust anyone. So yeah, overall, be careful. And now for today's featured meme. All right, hope you guys enjoy it. Reject Crunky, return to monkey. <laughs> you just might get VIP in someone in someone's chat. <coughs> Oh, sorry, I had something to tell. Like video, and I'll grab you my DMs with my rugged good looks for your stonks. 